the Second Amendment, the best, and the worst thing to happen, ever. You probably know a bit about gun violence if you live in any major city, to name a few. New York, Chicago, Detroit, or Los Angeles. But, you may wonder, why does this happen? Well, in a few specific cases, it's related to the storage of your firearm. Seriously, these things are dangerous. Take better care of them, and you'll take better care of yourself and others. Would you like to know the reason some firearm-related events happen? It's not like a gun appears about thin air for some child or adult to use. No. It's because the firearm was irresponsibly left in a place accessible to a child. Let's call this theoretical child Gabe. Picture this. Let's say we see Gabe eyeing the family firearm. If Gabe does get bad ideas with it, there's nothing stopping him. Now we have another case of gun violence, all because his parents didn't responsibly store it. But not to worry, there is a way to prevent this in your own home if you haven't taken measures already. And if you don't have a gun, you should still listen anyway. It is good advice. First and best thing to do, educate yourself. Learn about the dangers your firearm can pose. Second of all, store away in a safe. No one can reach that without knowing the password or combination. Pro tip, store the ammunition separately from the firearm. So if Gabe gets his hands on your gun, it can't cause physical harm. There are many safes as well that can be accessed in seconds if needed in an emergency, but are still protected. Third point, educate your kids or others within your household. As they say, knowledge is power. Teach the younger ones about its danger and explain why it's not a toy. If they present any questions, make sure to answer them or look for an answer. For older members, such as teens and adults, explain to them why you own it and what your intent with it is. Don't forget to remind them that they may not access it without your permission, as it can cause harm. Did you know that most gun-related crimes are used using handguns rather than other firearm types? I didn't. The reasoning behind this is that handguns are small and easily concealable, and can be hidden almost anywhere on your person. Other firearms, such as rifles, are much less used since they cannot be easily concealed. In short, don't leave your firearm out in the open with ammunition nearby. Make sure to keep it locked up and also make sure to lock up your ammunition separately if possible. And remember that you can help others and possibly prevent gun related crimes by sharing these tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Goodbye.